Lord Jesus Christ commanded his disciples, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God's covenant promises are extended to everyone, including our children. Hear also these words of Scripture. This promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls. Obeying Christ's commandment and trusting his promises, we baptize those whom God has called. Let us remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate this sacrament. In baptism, God's gracious initiative invites our faithful response. And because Lily and Oliver are still babies, we have to make promises on their behalf. Their parents and their family of faith make promises. I am overjoyed and practically standing on tiptoe today because I am looking out to see what faithful parents and what faithful family of faith we have who have been faithful to these promises we are about to make for Lily and Oliver. Because I see all of you and you are growing up to know and serve and love the Lord. And you will be part of teaching Lily and Oliver how to do that. Just as your parents are teaching you and these friends out here are praying for you and teaching you to sing and to learn about the stories in the Bible. So I am thrilled for Lily and for Oliver this day because I know they have a good family of faith and good promises that will be offered to them. So, parents, are you ready? Let's make a promise. Do you desire for your child to be baptized? Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? Do you confess Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, and do you trust in him? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your children? you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture these children, encouraging them to know and follow Christ, and to be faithful members of their church. Do you? We do. Let us pray. Ever faithful God, we give you thanks for the gift of water. In the beginning, your spirit moved over the water, creating order and life. In the water of the Jordan, our Lord was baptized and anointed by your spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, we've been set free from sin and delivered from death to everlasting life. Send your spirit to move over this water that in it we might be created anew. Embrace your children, wash away their sin, raise them to new life, and graft them to the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them that they may have the power to do your will and follow in your way. For it is in Christ's name we pray, amen. Mike and Laura Sidecki present their daughter for baptism. What is the Christian name of this child? Lily Francis. Lily Francis. Come here, Lily. <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. Lily Francis, child of the covenant. I baptize you, oh, you're ready, aren't you? <laughs> I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lily Francis, you are a beloved child of God. Live your life in the sure knowledge that you have been claimed by God's grace and wrapped in God's love. Amen. Scott and Rachel Sluton present their son for baptism. What is the Christian name of this child? Oliver Allen. Oliver Allen. Allen. Oh, okay. Good morning, Oliver. Oliver Allen, child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Oliver, you are a beloved child of God. Live your life in the sure knowledge that you have been claimed by God's grace and wrapped in God's love. Amen. <laughs> On behalf of the children of the church, we present Lily this Bible, that she may grow in God's grace. On behalf of the children of the church, we present Oliver this Bible, that he may grow in God's grace. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that in baptism you have claimed us as your own, freed us from sin and death, and joined us to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. We pray that through us and all your church, you will hold Lily and Oliver in your love, guide them as they grow in faith, and protect them in all dangers and temptations that they might one day confirm the promises we have made on their behalf, confessing their own faith in Jesus Christ and living a life of faithful discipleship. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. these new children into the life of our church for we are their family of faith and thank you boys and girls for being up here with this and participating in this you can now go out to your special music time or go back and be with your families but we thank you for being here Papa, I like your skirt it's cute uh -oh. sorry <laughs> yeah I didn't know Let us turn to God in prayer. O oh God, your word is more than precious, than fine gold, and sweeter than pure honey. As we turn to scripture, send your Holy Spirit to infuse your word with truth and grace, so that the good news of your love may shine before our eyes and delight our senses. Then help us to respond with wonder, faith, and trust. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is from 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 through 10, which can be found on page 1110 of the Pew Bible. The letter of 1 John is one that urges the Christians to return to the basics. God is light and God is love. In this first chapter, the author brings the reader back to the simple fact that we are all sinners and rely on Christ for forgiveness. Hear God's word. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testify to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him 
and proclaim to you that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light, and he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. God always blesses the reading and hearing of scripture. <laughs> 